but um, I've been going through mad shit, my niggas. It ain't just, you know, me not, me bombing on TikTok and, and neglecting YouTube. I just been going through mad shit, my nigga, in my life. You heard my mom's health, all type of wild shit. You heard sometimes I just get turned off from working, like, but one thing I will tell you, like, see, TikTok is a lot less work, bro. YouTube, I'm putting in four, five hours of editing work to make the same fucking money that I get on TikTok with a, a, a one minute video. You know what I mean? So it's like, that shit rough, my nigga. You heard? That shit rough doing all of that shit by myself. That's why I got to tone it down. But um, for the most part, man, I'm still plotting and planning on that sit down podcast. That shit going to go down. I need my own spot or I just need a major sponsor. You heard? Like a lot of niggas be hitting me up. Yo, lads, when you going to do the sit, when you going to do that sit down podcast, when you going to get a studio, blah, 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 blah. And the, and the answer to that is, my nigga, when I find a real sponsor that realizes I got over 60,000 followers on Instagram, I mean on TikTok, and I'm doing stupendous numbers, a nigga that know I got 70 racks on YouTube and over 55 racks on Instagram, and I got a basically a promotional, uh, I got a fucking promotional monster in social media to promote anything that a nigga want to promote. You feel what I'm saying? So what I need is a sponsor. And when I say a sponsor, I don't mean a nigga with a hundred cash every three months. I'm talking about a sponsor, a nigga that's cutting a ten, fifteen thousand dollar check per month. And I'm just going berserk with his product his brand or whatever the fuck is whatever the fuck he pushing then when i get that ten fifteen thousand dollars a month i could fund a podcast a real podcast and the best podcast that niggas ever seen in their motherfucking life y'all already know you heard the type of guests i have on that shit that should be different you heard you think you think niggas legend surfing now Wait till I get a motherfucking sit down podcast, nigga. I'm gonna get stories from niggas that you you won't believe the type of stories I'll be putting up on that shit. You feel what I'm saying? But realistically, I need a fucking sponsor with some real money. You heard? In the meantime, in between time, bombing on TikTok, nigga. So make sure you following me on there. You heard? Or you might miss some history. Yersk. There's a lot of a lot of stories I told on YouTube. YouTube wasn't built to push them shits. The way they needed to be pushed like for an example y'all know i told a story about how i seen a nigga in rikers island in brooklyn criminal when i was on the island it was in brooklyn criminal I, I seen a nigga make a nigga eat a shit sandwich you heard like i don't make this shit up this is actual fact i would never tell a story that's just made up who the fuck does that what type of human being just say Yo, let me just make up a jail story so that should sound crazy like who the fuck does that you feel what i'm saying but um yeah man um I told that story before how I made a nigga, I seen a, I seen a nigga make a nigga eat a shit sandwich on right, because that was one of the first stories I ever told. Probably the first story I ever told on YouTube, right? That shit did a few five, ten thousand views or whatever, whatever it did. Nigga, I told that shit on TikTok, that same story. That shit got pushing 500, that shit almost got 500,000 views right now, my nigga. You heard? So, you know, YouTube is the 30 is, is mostly the 30 and up fan base and TikTok is the 30 and under fan base. You feel me? So, you know, my 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 age group and my my 35 and up and 30 and up fan base, we solidified, my nigga. Niggas know what it is and what I do and what I'm going to do. You heard? But now it's time to reach them youth with this story that I got. This kids with guns shit is gonna save some motherfucking lives. You understand what I'm saying? I seen in the news the other day. It was an accidental shooting in my projects, my same projects. You heard 14 year old and a 12 year old. I'm not sure which one lost their life, but, but you know what I mean? Once I seen that shit on the news, I'm like, accidental shooting, I already know what that is. You heard? History repeats itself. So it's like, like I said, go to my motherfucking um, TikTok and you'll see the first two installments of my life story, Kids With Guns. Some of y'all may have caught it when I did it on YouTube, but I'm doing it way better now. You heard? Full crazy HD, crispy HD. Getting it right, I'm getting it right, I'm getting it right, baby. I'm trying to get it right. You heard? I'm sorry if I'm missing you in the um, comment section, man. Yeah, I heard about that shit. That shit was crazy. Adam G, I appreciate you, my brother. 
Yeah, the 14 year old shit. That shit crazy, bro. You heard somebody need to reach out to that kid. And then I seen that shit on the motherfucking news. You heard? King Dawn, that's a fact. Papa Stopper was really good. Yo, let me tell you. And then on the news, these niggas told my kid has been charged. Nigga, how the fuck is you charging a 12 year old kid, nigga? Like, you feel what I'm saying? If that shit was an accident, I'm saying, like, an accident, I'm shooting, like, why the fuck y'all niggas be thirsty to charge a nigga? That's the same shit they did with me, my nigga. You heard? I'm 16 cash. I just turned 16 cash. Why the fuck is y'all charging me with murder in the second degree so easily, my nigga? You heard? If I was a little skippy from motherfucking, uh, you heard? If I was a little skippy from whatever part of New York, upstate, y'all niggas wouldn't motherfucking be quick to just toss a motherfucking murder in the second degree charge on a 16 year old kid charge him as an adult that shit crazy my g's you heard us why that shit is illegal right now but it wasn't illegal when they did it to me my nigga you heard and that's why you gotta watch my motherfucking documentary kids with guns i'm about to get crazy you heard appreciate appreciate those cash app donations appreciate it. i can't see it right now I mean, but I hear it and I appreciate it. You feel what I'm saying? But yeah, my nigga, it's going the fuck down on that TikTok. You heard? So if y'all niggas thought I was just on hiatus not working, when y'all go to my TikTok, y'all be like, oh my God, this nigga been putting in work. But it's like, yo, bro, the shit that's scary and crazy. Son, I told 200 stories on YouTube. I'm talking about of my own stories. I told 200 stories, over 200 stories, my nigga. I can't even believe those numbers. I was in the zone. Y'all niggas had me in the zone for three years. You heard? I told 200 fucking stories. So now, my nigga, I told about 15 of them shits on TikTok. And my shit through the roof on TikTok. And I told like 15 stories, bro. So I got an arsenal of like 185 more stories that I could tell on TikTok, my nigga. You heard, and I'ma keep it real. I was mapping out my kids with gun shit, bro. This shit a five season series, my nigga. Cause there's too much shit that went down in my life to, to get out 10 minutes at a time on TikTok. Too much shit, you heard? So I gotta make the, the, the biggest points and even the biggest points just in Brownsville alone that shit is like 12 chapters. You feel me? So, man, it's The Wire, man. You heard? So if you want to watch the new Wire, watch my shit, Kids With Guns, my nigga. You heard? I'm going to paint a picture of Brooklyn in the 80s, man, that I don't know if a nigga painted a picture like this, the way I'm going to paint this shit, Brooklyn in the 80s and the early 90s. You heard? But, um, yeah, man, so that's what I've been doing, man. I've just been working. Know what I mean, staying focused. I'm trying to get on some meditation shit. Folk straight next level shit, bro. You feel me? I'm, I'm I'm getting strict with my fucking diet. I gotta get on my shit, my nigga. Heard? I'm on some shit right now. If it ain't green, I ain't eating it, nigga. After this, man, after I, after I motherfucking come off this, I might for Adam G. I appreciate you, my brother. Appreciate you, my bro. You be showing mad love. You know I, you know I got love for you, my G's. That's a whole fact. The Adam G, make sure you follow me on TikTok so you can know. Listen, I'm an active banger. You heard? I'm just building up a whole legacy over there. I got the YouTube shit nice. You heard my following on YouTube, my niggas, my supporters on YouTube. Psh, ain't nobody on YouTube on these YouTube streets that got a better following than, than me. I'm talking, I'm not talking about in numbers i'm talking about the type of individuals that's in this gen pop shit niggas is golden you heard niggas is golden so it's like now i'm trying to educate these kids man you heard it's crazy because i'm going viral off of profanity and shit like that because i use too much profanity but i'm also a comedian i'm gonna keep it real with you I don't claim to be a comedian, but I'm a comedian ass nigga. You heard? When I be on these social media outlets, man, my comedian side get crazy. I know there's a lot of y'all niggas in Gen Pop that have been encouraging me and telling me to start doing comedy. 
But you heard my, my comedy is in storytelling form. You feel me? But I'm also giving through some of that dead serious shit. And that's a whole fact. But Adam G, once again, I appreciate you, my bro. You be showing extra love. I appreciate that, my brother. You feel me? Shout out to all the niggas who be showing extra love. Cash App, Zell. I respect it. Love it. You heard. Love y'all niggas. You know what I mean? I'm just letting you know I'm, I'm about to do some next level shit, my nigga. You heard? I'm about to do some next level shit. So I need, I need y'all over there. Because I don't got nothing but young people over there. Like, shout out to my young motherfuckers. Niggas be having me laughing, man. Niggas be teenagers running down on me in the streets over that TikTok shit. And I be like, yo, man, you know, my fault, bro. Because I be feeding y'all niggas profanity and shit. But I just be dropping videos speaking my mind. I miss having a motherfucking dog, man. You heard I love dogs and shit. Only thing with dogs, I don't fuck with dogs when I'm living in the hood, man. Because a dog give you a... A dog give you a motherfucking routine. So if you get into some motherfucking friction with some niggas, you heard they know you got a motherfucking mongrel that you got to walk two times a day. You heard niggas can line you up like that. So, you know, I can't have no motherfucking pet that makes me go outside to walk them at a certain time of day where I'm, I got to walk some nigga a fucking pet and be off point. Nah, nah my nigga. We was in the hood. We used to have to walk the, walk the dog with the slammer. Her. Nigga don't be one that had to walk the dog with the slammer and all of that. Like, nah. Her. So when the animals start making me go outside and shit, like, nah, nigga. I like my I like my motherfucking movements to be spontaneous. I don't need niggas like yo. That nigga come out 709 every morning. This dog take a shit right there every morning, same spot. But nah, my nigga, I'm Gooch. I'm Gucci McLucci, nigga. Oh, man. Yo, I'm broke up, my nigga. Y'all appreciate that donation, my brother. You heard? Jason FNJ, I appreciate you, bro. Good looking out. That's a whole fact, my Gs. But yeah, man, when I come back, I'm about to be telling you, bro. When I come back, I'm gonna come back with some crazy shit. First of all, when I get back to my YouTube grind, I'm on my jail story shit heavily, bro. You heard? That's what that's what popped this shit off in the first place. I'm back. I'm, I gotta get back to my roots with this jail story shit. I gotta stop smoking on camera, man. They be demonetizing my shit. Like they know what's what I'm smoking. What if I'm smoking a motherfucking? What if I'm smoking some organic? <laughs> Shout out to my nigga. Shout out to that nigga Majesty, man. <laughs> but that nigga was smoking. <laughs> niggas, my son, yo, these niggas, these young niggas, man. I love them niggas, man. But they, they, they from a different era than us, man. That should be funny. My nigga was smoking some motherfucking apricot dehydrated apricot dust <laughs> nigga, nigga hitting the vape that shit straight fruit like, these niggas different all them hating ass niggas that's in the motherfucking I, I ain't even responding to no haters man like I said go check me out on tiktok with them zillies you heard <laughs> Go check me on TikTok with the Brazilians. Cause let me tell you something, my nigga. Just let me tell you something, my nigga. It's a lot of niggas that was doubting the Z Lord. It was a lot of niggas when I was when my views was getting down a little bit low. It was a lot of niggas. Niggas on the channel with stories and all of that. A lot of niggas whispering. Like that nigga Jay-Z said, everybody whispering. <laughs> Niggas was whispering like, oh, this nigga last, nigga views is low, nigga falling off. Mad niggas. Niggas asking me questions. You heard niggas questioning the God. Yo, son, why your views ain't popping? Yo, why your views ain't? Keep that same energy, my nigga. You heard? Niggas was questioning about my views and all of that. Keep that same energy and type in St. Laz on TikTok, my nigga. Ask me about them views. 
You heard? Ask me about them views. Cause a lot of niggas, man. A lot of niggas was side side hustling, ear, ear pissing and shitting in niggas' ears. Like my shit was falling off and all of that. Alright, my nigga. Keep that same synergy. You heard? Keep that same synergy. And run down on that TikTok. Run down on that yak. You heard? And check them skews. You heard? Check them barbe them barbecue skewers, nigga. Yeah, I do this shit for real, not for fake, nigga. It ain't just YouTube, my nigga. Yours? I ain't worried about what's behind me. A nigga better worry about what's in front of me. You heard? Nigga better worry about what's in front of them. I ain't worried about what's what's behind me, nigga. My name's Z Lord. I run this motherfucking city, nigga. I ain't walking around here worried about nothing, nigga. Yours? Your name Z Lord. You know these greats in New York? You see these shits right here? You see them greats? You know the greats, the, the, the train station greats in New York? I'm stomping niggas through that, you heard? So the nigga you told me I look behind you? Nah, nigga, I'm flipping that nigga over. Boom! Slamming them on these motherfucking greats. Then I'm gonna stomp a nigga till he go through the grate. You heard? Stomp a nigga till his whole body go through the grate and fall down into the subway tracks. You heard? That's how worried about niggas behind me I am, nigga. Nigga will get graded. You heard? Turn a nigga to human parmesan out this bitch, nigga. Fuck you talking about, nigga. I'm a superhero, nigga. My name's Z-Lord. You heard? And I got that motherfucking jalapeno on me. You heard? I'm going to keep it a Buck Rogers, nigga. I stay with that jalapeno, nigga. You heard? I stay with that pepper jack, nigga. You heard? I stay with that pepper seed like the Jamaican dance. Let a nigga act up, nigga. I got that pepper spray. Nigga going to get hit. I'm going to be like, what the fuck what you said, nigga? What you said? What you want to do, nigga? Bing, bang, bing, 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 bing. Once that pepper spray get in a nigga, he finished. You heard? That's when I'm just heading, hitting the nigga with like nine. Young, ying, 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 ying. You heard so. Nigga can act up if he wants to, nigga. I got that pepper jack on deck for him, nigga. You heard? Nigga be like, oh, oh. I just be like this, chill, bro. I'm about to put you out your misery right now. You got zing. Her, nigga be knocked out with his eyes burning. Uh, uh, uh. Nigga be waking up every three seconds. Uh, uh. Get knocked back out. Play with me, nigga. I'm different. I'm sharing my genies. I'm out here, man. I'm out here, man. Fuck, man. Z Lord, man. Fuck, man. Nerd. And nigga, nigga, get that pepper jack, nigga. You heard? I hit a nigga with that scotch bonnet early, nigga. You heard? I hit a nigga with that scotch bonnet, nigga. Straight up, nigga. They should have never put them shits in the street. What? I be on a train. My niggas be coming by saying crazy shit. I be like, act up, nigga. You heard? Act up, nigga. You going to get this jerk sauce. Pause. I got some jerk chicken for you, nigga. You feel me? Straight up, nigga. I got that ice spice, nigga. I got that spice one. Hit a nigga with that spice one real quick. Yerk. You won't see it coming. I'll be like, yo, I'll be talking mad gangster shit. Hey, yo, my nigga, word to my mother, you can step out the train right now, my nigga. We can fucking go. We can shoot the five. And we can take it to hammers, razors, wherever the fuck we want to take it to, nigga. My name, lad, nigga, from the Ville, nigga. Come the fuck out the train station, nigga. Let me show you what these motherfucking hands do, nigga. You heard? As soon as that nigga come out the train station trying to take his shirt off, I just hit that nigga with the pepper jack. <laughs> Hold that. Hold that, nigga. He'd be like, oh, oh, shit, yo, you a bitch. I'd be like, chill, my brother. 
I know you can't see right now and you're panicking, but I'm gonna put you to E. I'm gonna put you to rest right now with this two piece. Gooch, gooch. Nigga shit gonna be like this. Oh. By the time the motherfucking ambulance come, nigga, I'm nine stops away on the train, nigga. You heard your shit laid out. You heard you wanted that extra spicy from Chick fil A? You got it, nigga. You heard? I give a nigga warning too. I be like, yo, bro, listen. Listen. You want some Trini food, my nigga? Like, what? What you said, nigga? You want some Trini pepper, nigga? You like Trinidadian food, nigga? You like Thai food? You heard tell nigga, yo, you like Thai food, bro? Fuck you talking about, nigga? Nah, I don't like no Thai food, nigga. All right, then. You better chill the fuck out, my nigga. You heard? Because I got that extra spicy Thai for your ass, nigga. And I ain't hitting you with one blast. I'm emptying a clip, nigga. These shit's 10 cash. I'm emptying a clip on your shit. You be knocked out on the floor, I still be spraying your shit. Playing with me, nigga. Your shit gonna be burning for nine days. You heard? One carton of milk ain't gonna work on you, nigga. You gonna, they gonna have to dunk your body. They gonna have to dunk your body in milk, nigga. Almond milk, oat milk, everything gonna have to be on your shit, nigga. This shit gonna be roasted. <laughs> Play with me if you want to, nigga. Can't wait to KO a nigga that's pepped up. Like, tell a nigga, yo, son, you like to do the pepper seed? You talking like your favorite dance is the pepper seed, my nigga. I tell the nigga straight up. I be like, son, you talking like your motherfucking favorite dance is the pepper seed, nigga. You heard? Because if you like the pepper seed, nigga, I got it for you, nigga. That pepper seed, I, I had you stay out of jail from... From, from, from stabbing a nigga or clapping a nigga, you heard? You ain't got that. You can leave your guns and your knives at home. MC lights on the microphone. You heard? I want to step my shit to the next level on my dog, the bounty hunter shit. Nigga, get the bear mace. Big stupid shit. I got to take a trip down south where they sell shit like that in Walmart. Extra large bear mace. Nigga, had that shit on my hip like a hammer. Wait for a nigga, dying for a nigga to start some shit. <laughs>